Hi, I am Bobby, and this is how I learned to create games. So I born and uh, grown up in Delhi, and uh, as a kid, I have played a lot of games uh, like GTA San Andreas, Contra, Mario, Roro, etc. So my favorite game uh, was absolutely uh, then GTA San Andreas. Actually, I uh, grown up uh, watching my elder brother uh, playing that. so uh, when i was like in class 4th uh, and 5th uh, i i got a curiosity like uh, how these games are working and it's pretty cool thing so i one day when my brother was not at home so i tried playing uh, i actually i tried uh, starting his pc and just followed the steps that he was following to start a game and uh, played my first ever chapter of the game <laughs> in ten years so my education background was uh, not even related to any uh, computer field actually i was from the arts background and i uh, and i didn't even know like uh, the basic things about the computer uh, when i was in uh, my 9th and 10th so i i took i was in uh, arts background so i i did my 11th and 12th in geography and politics actually i was in love with geography and politics and uh, uh, got scored like 90 plus in that so that was the most favorite subject for me but uh, after my graduate actually after my 12th i decided uh, that i have to make a career but i was uh, not sure in which thing so i started exploring uh, some career opportunities in geography and politics but uh, didn't found the right one so uh, actually i i, I also uh, thought of pursuing llb but uh, then i found out the entrance exams are over so then someone suggested me to pursue a degree in computer applications then i researched about it and i found out like i am pretty much interested in these things and uh, i have a, a love for technology and internet so i i thought like i can uh, do something in this field. so i pursued my bachelor's in computer application and uh, while pursuing my uh, degree in computer applications i was still not sure like what do i have to do actually uh, whether to go into a software development whether to go into a web development or what and uh, actually my brother is uh, is a web developer so uh, he guided me like he guided me through some courses or some programming languages as well but i i was not interested in that actually so uh one thing at my final year like i knew i don't want to go into web development as everyone is doing that so i wanted to do something interesting uh, that i enjoy first of all because i have to do that work for like my next uh, 20 30 years so uh i decided to uh, go for a game development and uh got connected with outkill luckily so and then pursued my you know full stack game development program uh actually my 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 family supported my choice for game development as as i said my elder brother is already a web developer so he has pretty much uh, knowledge and experience about the industry so he knew that uh, game industry is going to be on a boom at the future so he supported me in that and uh, then i discussed with my parents as well and they said it's good to go and i just started doing it and uh, learned it uh, when i was uh, in my final year of graduation uh, i was sure i want to do a game development but i was uh, not uh, sure how will i do it i, I didn't had any uh, ways and any supportive material like how can get into it but i knew i want to get into it so uh, i started uh, searching on internet as well but uh, didn't found uh, pretty much like good things uh, on the internet then luckily i found out skill uh, at my college placement group and then i like just clicked on the i just saw a keyword game development and that made me to click on the link and i just uh, 
tang it up and like explore what are the things that our scale is offering and uh, how it goes what are the things that they are teaching and actually i, I and actually i also attended a few of the classes uh and pretty much i like wow that's the cool shit and that's <laughs> that's pretty much interesting doing these things like moving objects and all that like actually i was pretty ex- exciting that was pretty uh, interesting for me and i was so excited and just i just enrolled that suddenly the most surprising part uh, about the outscale that i saw was like they they don't just teach you the game development they teach you through the culture the environment how to uh, how to behave professionally actually and that's not a curriculum you just learn it from the environment the people here at outscale so now right now when i uh, talk in front of uh, my other friends who were in college and when i when they see me speaking to professionals uh, in the industry and like talking to companies for the job and etc they, they find out like how did you learn this how did you build up this personality how can you speak uh, english pro- very effectively actually so uh, as a graduate these things are uh, very unique that's not a common thing see, see the person who grown up speaking hindi and uh, completed all his studies in uh, schooling in hindi and then uh, for then so speaking english is a very hard task for that so for me actually the, the environment and culture was pretty good and i just learned i actually the one thing that i like about our skill is like they they encourage you uh, to to speak whatever language you know like if you know tamil malayalam hindi whatever just speak if you like if you can connect with other persons that's a great so you can only connect with other person with a common language and that that is english right now so speak however you know even even if it's not okay or it's not correct that's fine but you just have to speak up confidently so that's the part that i learned and that was a perfect uh, game changer for me and my whole personality got changed because uh, as a graduate everyone like don't know how the corporate works how to behave professionally uh while the game development uh, was obviously uh, getting used to programming getting used to oops design pattern etc so uh, i i faced a lot of difficulties uh, while learning uh, oops concepts and designing my very first game but uh, luckily as i said the culture and environment is really cool and very cooperative so uh, i got a help of my uh, teammate my mentor and successfully completed my first game and now i am here working as a unity game developer so first game at outscale uh, i built uh, was a 2d platformer game and i just implemented the movement uh, of a player and i was just going off everywhere like on sharing on my status yeah i made my first game and that was pretty cool thing because like the, the gaming is like you are uh, putting a life into something so uh, just moving a player like you you just taught that player to move so that was pretty interesting and uh, i was so happy so placement journey uh, at out scale was uh, pretty good and when that was a roller coaster ride actually i learned a lot uh, from my teammates and mentors uh, watching them interviewing and actually i also uh, out scale offers and uh, peer to peer interview program where we are like we can interview our uh, teammates as well and uh, they can give us as well and give, give feedback uh, based on the interview so Uh, i did lot of mock interviews with my teammates and uh, mentors and uh, 
that increased the confident in me and that made me uh, ready for the industry and now i can give uh, interviews uh, professionally to the companies because like you cannot go to the war without practicing so i just practiced uh, how to give interviews uh, how to tackle these situations and how to negotiate at sector from the out skill through mock interviews and the study material uh and then actually i started applying and uh, actually i also got rejected in the first interview and i was like i was feeling uh, so demotivated like i am not worth it etc then i took i took a break uh, started working on my personal projects took a guidance from out skill mentors and then when i when i when i like i was sure like now i can um uh, ready now, now i can give the interview so i am ready for it then i started applying and then i find it uh landed my first job at trolicon game so i am currently working at uh, trolicon games as a unity game developer and uh, uh at trolicon games actually uh, we have published multiple games uh, 2d 3d Uh, including multiplayer games as well, and so at Sony Board Games, I uh, I actually uh, worked from bottom to top on a game, actually designed UI, game mechanics, implemented uh, multiple features, tested them, designed levels as well, and implemented multiplayer mechanics as well, and we have successfully. published uh, two of games on play store as well and that was pretty much interesting jam and i learned a lot so if if you are curious about the games and you have a passion to play games and uh, you are also interested in to programming and uh, the game industry then uh, you can you can try your hands on on the game development as well and if you find out like this is the one this is the right career for you you can uh, go for the game development and i'm definitely sure like if you have a uh, soft corner in your heart for the games and you love playing games then definitely you will fall in love with game development I, actually uh, because game development is not just to make a living for you that's a passion that's a love for the game so uh, as much as you uh, love playing games that much you will also uh, enjoy uh, creating games as well so to get into the game development i would uh, suggest you to uh, uh, try your hands on on the unity intern go to some youtube tutorials as well and also find a mentor and a person who can guide you and you can also uh, opt for the courses available online including outskill as an outskill uh, i will i would say like if you are uh, going with the outskill you will you will like that's the perfect package for you you will not have to jump here and there because outskill provides uh, like support for everything support for interview support for placements uh, how to prepare for interviews and your and the men- mentorship and the guidance on your projects programming uh, programming architectures design patterns etc so that's the one place for you mm-hmm.